my name is Matt Goodfellow. I'm the author of Shulin's Grandpa, which is beautifully illustrated by Yu Rong. It's published by Otterbury Books. Um, I'm going to read you a little sneak preview of it now, okay? Now, I used to be a primary school teacher, so technically I should be good at this reading out loud like this, lad. So, here we go. Shulin's Grandpa. When Shulin came to our school, she wore yellow wellies and a pink coat. She didn't speak English very well. At break time, some of the girls buzzed around Shu Lin trying to get her to skip with them. But she stood on her own at the edge of the playground. What's up with her? Barney asked. At lunchtime, Shu Lin sat alone at a table in the dining hall. She laid out little boxes of brightly coloured food. We'd never seen anything like it. How can she eat that? Barney said. On the way home, I remembered my first day a few years back when I had to stand at the front of Mr Bigger's class. Let's make Dylan feel at home, he'd said. But I didn't. Not at the start. Then one day, Miss Rogers said that Shulin's grandpa was coming into school to show our class his paintings. What's the point if he can't even speak English? Barney said. Shulin's grandpa sat down opened his satchel and passed his pictures around. We sat in silence. Now oh, here's my teacher test. The wind smelt of wood smoke and mud. A silver moon rose in the sky. I stared into the eyes of a snarling dragon, surrounded by flames and swirls of white mist. I could feel the dragon's breath on my neck. Shulin's grandpa watched us carefully, but never even spoke. When it was time to leave, he just packed up his pictures, gave Shulin a kiss and was gone. We helped Miss Rogers push back our desks and place big sheets of white paper on the floor. Paintbrushes and ink were passed out so we could have a go at some pictures of our own. There's your little sneak peek of Shulin's grandpa. Mm -hmm.